right, just want to give you a quick overview of how the money counter works and um, how it's super easy to do so. So, as you can see, you have your basic uh, layout. It's got your time, your date, uh, how many pieces, your cash or money value, and different uh, value amounts for counting. You'll see right now it's on the US dollar and it's face up. So let's go to menu. So you can start it where it's auto. If you put it in, it starts counting or manual where you have to set it. The good thing about that is basically, do you want the money starting to be counted right away? You may not always want that. You have your speed. Um, so let's say you have it where you can do 800, 1,000, 1,200. You got your modes. Uh, having these all on allows you to toggle through the modes on in the main menu in, on the main screen, which I'll show you later. Um, you got your detections. I have them all set already on because I want to set cha uh, check for everything. You got my currencies. So you got you know you got the do American dollar, Canadian dollar, Mexican, uh, and European, and the British pound. And then you can obviously set your date and time. You can turn on and off the beep. It's, for some people, it's really annoying. So if I have it now, you won't hear it anymore. You can update it to the newest software and the product information. So let's go back to the main. So at this point, um, if I want to just toggle through the menu, sorry, through the modes, I can have it where it's the orient of the dollar, right? You, if you want them all in a nice stack facing one way uh, with the mixes. So if you have a, a, a whole bunch of different uh, denominations, uh, you can sort it. Uh, counting is great. Um, for example, let's say I have a, a whole bunch of, let's say $100 bills and uh, or just uh, one dollar bills, it doesn't really matter. So essentially just tell me exactly how many bills are in there and not the value amount. Um, and that's for various reasons why you may want that. And then, then obviously if you, let's say you have a stack of money and you wanna know if they're all right, you just put this in, it'll stop by the one that's facing differently. And that's basically all of them. Um, you can print it. You can print out your information through the, the top right over here. So you have right over here, you can print your paper and you have it where you can set different batch amounts. So if I click batch, you see batch of 100, 20, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I can also do slowly one, two, three, four, but if I hold it for longer, it'll do in batches of 10. So now you see it's doing 10, 10, 10. Um, and essentially that's basically what you'd wanna do. Uh, clearing is once you have this done. So say I ran a batch, you'd click clear once you're finished. Um, and that's basically it. And you, so you put your money on the top, come down to the bottom, you see it right, it detected some pressure, so it started counting. And then it comes up through here and you see these, these things start rotating and uh, it comes out really nicely. So I just want to give a quick example. So I have a thousand dollars here, right? So I just have basically 50s and two $100 bills. So I have it, on, let's see, I have it, let's go back to, let's just go back to, actually, let's go back. Um, so let's go to batches, turn off batches, because I don't want batches. And then I want to go to mode, I'll go to count. So $1,000, but I don't care about the value amount, I want to know how many bills I have. So what I want to do is first make sure that this is the two top pieces are spread out so that the money is going to be held out properly. And then, so I now know I have 18 bills. So let's see if that's correct. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Great. But now let's see what the value amount is. So let's go to mode. Let's go to Let's see what it is. Oh, if you see right here, it has a little um, catcher right there. So why that happened is because it wasn't set in the right direction. So now I have it face up, put it back in. There you go. Thousand dollars. So the mix is basically at the end of the day, finished working. You got your money, hopefully more than this, but. Uh, essentially, you can see that you can have it in, in counting or in mix, so you have your actual value amount. 
And then if you're wondering how am I powering this, I actually have it powered with a portable power unit. So this I would recommend simply because if you're going places and there are no outlets, uh, you can just take one of these power uh, portable power banks and it will run off of that. It really doesn't take that much juice, so it's, it's really great. Um, and that's basically how I can have it powered anywhere. And I'd recommend getting one of these so you can actually have your machine running. Because if I pull this out right now, that's what happens.